Welcome to a new Precious Plastic video. So in this video we're going to show you a new kind of way how to work with plastic. Usually plastic is all processed in machines and very big quantities, but this is more of a craftsman's way of working with plastic. Um, to really do it by hand sanding with using very basic tools just to make something very small and precious and delicate. And Marta from Spain is going to show you how that's being done. Hi, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to make uh, a ring out of polystyrene. Once the mold is inside the oven, uh, it should remain there uh, for 20 minutes. Okay, so at this point of the process, this is what we should have. A polyesterine tile with a smooth borders ready to become a ring. And what we are going to do next is I'm going to show you how to choose the best spot on the tile for making the ring. Then we're going to drill a hole according to the size of our finger. And finally, uh, we're going to shape the ring around it. Once we have the tile and before starting to shape the ring, it is very important to choose where to do it. So for example, if you want to make your ring more special or precious, it is nice to take a look to the tile, searching for areas that can make a ring look more precious because of transparencies or, color, or colorful spots, like this blue or this green one. And then once you have it, start to shape the ring there. So for instance, I'm going to continue doing it like here.
this stage of the process, we should have something like this. A basic and rough shape, uh, which we will sand and polish until we get to something like this, our final ring. So sanding, uh, it's one of the most important part of this whole process because, as I said before, it will determine the final quality of our product. Fortunately, PS, it's one of the few plastics that can be sanded and polished with really good results. In this case, we are going to use four different kinds of paper and we are going to go from a thicker one, 240, to a thinner one, uh, 2000. We start with P280, sanding the edges of the piece and shaping the ring as we like. As this is the thickest of our papers, we will use it to perfection the shape of our ring. Sanding the exterior of the ring is very important, but getting a good quality on the interior is even more crucial as it needs to feel comfortable for the finger. We continue with P600, doing exactly the same. As we sand, we can already see how the surface quality improves. The third paper is P1000. The last sanding paper before swapping into polishing is P2000. After it, the surface will start feeling nice and shiny. There are a few ways of polishing plastic and so far these are the ones we've tried. Toothpaste, car paint cleaner and car polish. Both toothpaste and paint cleaner uh, work and uh, leave a shiny surface. Problem is that we did a manual compression and that always leaves uh, some holes on, on the surface and these holes get filled with the liquid which isn't transparent. That means this uh, holes become white spots all over the surface. So at the end, what worked best for us is this uh, weird car polish we found in the workspace because it's transparent, which means uh, we don't have white spots anymore. And it also leaves a really good and shiny surface at the end. And finally we have this ring, shiny and nice, but we don't have to forget about uh, marking the type of plastic it is. So we are going to do it with, uh, with the Dremel, but you can also do it by hand. Okay, so now we already know how to do this ring, but you could also uh, play a bit more with the shape and getting other kind of rings. For example, we have this one, quite simple, and you can go also for a more complex one if you, go, if you want. Another option is uh, swapping into other kinds of jewelry, as this uh, bracelet, for example, transparent and nice, or this, uh, this necklace, in which we really put an effort on, on getting it uh, shiny so you can really see, see it as a stone. Another possibility would be uh, not only using the plastic on its own but combining it with other materials like metal or you can also do it with wood, whatever you, you want to. And uh, at the end uh, you can also Mm, try different melting temperatures so you can mm, have uh, little spots in which look super rocky and nice. 
And well, that's what I did with uh, two kinds of plastic, transparent and black, but imagine what you could do with uh, more colors, I mean, the possibilities are amazing. All right, <laughs> nice. Um, so yeah, that was it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to post the topic in our forums and uh, share us a picture of the things you've made. Yep. We would like to see that. And see you again in the next